So we're going over our notes 29, and it's about the moles and molar mass. Our essential question is how do you count the number of atoms in a given substance? So what is a mole? It's not the animal, but in science, a mole is a number. It is 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd, and it has, uh, we rounded it 4 to 4 sig figs. And um, it's based on the number of atoms in 12 grams of pure carbon. And essentially, since one mole is a number, it is similar to if you have one pair, it, it means two of something. If you have a dozen of something, one dozen, it means 12 of something. So for example, when you have one dozen of eggs, it's 12 eggs. Similarly, one mole is uh, 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. And also, uh, one, one mole or a mole is also known as Avogadro's number. It's uh, named after him. And it's not Avogadro's number, but Avogadro's Okay, so this is a, a little infographic about the mole that is also on your handout. Uh, something to really think about, how you can think about the mole is that it's similar to like when you compare elephants to mouse. So there's a dozen elephants and there's a dozen mouse, but their masses may be different, so, but you still have a dozen of each. And similarly, when you compare different uh, elements such as iron or oxygen, um, a, a, a one mole of them is um, still 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd, but their masses are different. So, oh, uh, iron mass is uh, 50, 55, uh, around 55, oxygen's mass is about 32, uh, iron's mass is a lot bigger. And then we have um, some practice with moles actually. You want to take out a periodic table for this, definitely. So, have your periodic table handy with you. Um, so, um, but actually this one, you'll be just going over just a basic of 0 .0, uh, or 0.5 moles of um, something like atoms of fat. So we have 0.5 here, which has infinite six figs, and we want to make sure our conversion of um, the mole number, uh, of Gardner's number, is set up so that we can cancel out moles given and get the atoms that we need. So we'll be able to put 0.5 moles times 10, uh, five, 10 times 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms over one mole, and you'll be able to get your answer at 3.011 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. And of course, you want to make sure it has the correct six figs right here, and also it's a box that the number answer is box. And for another example, how many donuts is in a 0 .0010 moles of donuts? We are writing our given first. Uh, we have 0 0.0010 moles of donuts, and we want to make that conversion factor of the moles, one moles is. 3.022. We want to make sure our, mo our units cancel out here and we'll get this number unrounded of um, our donuts or our donuts. And um, when we round it to the correct six figs, we'll get 6.0 times 10 to the 20 donuts. And another example, this one, yes, definitely you want to take out your periodic table for this, I think. Oh, wait, no. Sorry, when we have the slides up, right? Um, so for number three, how many atoms? are in 17.840 moles of arsenic. So the symbol for arsenic is uh, A, double A and S, uh, small s, and uh, it's 17.840, we have five sixes here, and we wanna set it up for our solution so that we have the uh, conversion of one mole to atoms and be able to cancel out the given moles to get our atoms at the end. And we'll get this number unrounded right here of atoms of arsenic, and then our rounded number will be this one and it's rounded to the four sig figs. And definitely you want to include your units of atoms and also include the element, the little symbol, um, so that you know how many atoms for that uh, arsenic and round it to the correct sig figs. And for number four, our example number four, how many moles is 1.84 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of sodium? You want to first write down our given and uh, set up the equation um, so that you'll be able to cancel out atoms of sodium with our, and get uh, moles at the end. So definitely put atoms units on top, or bottom, and uh, moles units on the top. When you be able to cross that out, you'll be able to get this number unrounded in moles of sodium. Our rounded number is two sig figs. So we want to count the sig figs here and count, compare the sig figs here and make sure that we have um, the correct sig figs at the end right here, which is three. And um, for this one, we for these types of um, problems of finding uh, the moles of of something it's um, substance of the element doesn't really matter so but you definitely still want to include the symbol so that we can identify how many moles is of for that element 